Hello everyone, Shanta here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So, whew, in my dry sheet video, I had a couple people ask me to show them how I made the flower and whatnot in the video. <clears throat> so I'm going to attempt to do that today. You guys know that um, I'm not a tutorialist, but I have decided to just come out of my shell. So I am trying to push myself to come on forth okay so hopefully this works out now um let's see let's start by sh saying me showing you what i you what i'm going to use glue gun with the glue stick <clears throat> dry used dry sheets um so <clears throat> i told you guys in that video i've been saving dry sheets up for months i have a family of five so you can just imagine the dry sheets oh my goodness um, so much. I throw a bunch of them away. It's just ridiculous. <clears throat> but anyway, with the dry sheets, you see, I have all these right here. I, it's good if you do use it twice to make them more, I don't know, pliable. But some of these I've used twice and some not. <clears throat> as long as it's used, I think it's the only thing. <clears throat> so I press these, i press these to make them flat. Now you can either use your iron on a low setting or you can put like the dry sheet down and put something on top like a towel and press it which is what I did for these because for some reason the last time I did them my iron didn't uh, make them curl up like this right here but this time I use the same settings on my I think you pronounce it Ro Winter. I love that brand of iron that's the only brand that I use now <clears throat> And, um, but this time it burnt the ends up. So then I put the a bath towel over and then it, you know, so they can get flat. So I have those, um, <clears throat> a punch. I'm using an inch and a half for the flower. <clears throat> Scissor, scissors, and spray adhesive. This is the spray adhesive that I'm going to use. This is the up-to-date, um, packaging. Same stuff. <clears throat> I just been had this one in my stash for years. So I'm using that and glitter. Um for the video that I did with me and Joyce Challenge, I used this stamping up um dazzling and diamonds. Woo. Glitter. <clears throat> However, uh, I'm gonna use try to use this Martha Stewart today. It's a fine a fine glitter. I think um any fine glitter will work. But you know what? I wonder how some chunky glitter look. I bet that chunky glitter will look good too. Yes. Oh, and what about embossing powder? Okay, now see, I should be in the bed. It's like late, but now my um, I'm a night person, so now my mind is beginning to work. I'm gonna try with some chunky glitter, and I'm gonna try with some embossing powder too, and see how that works. But then, nah, you know what? I better sit down. Embossing powder ain't gonna do nothing. Burn up the burn up these sheets. Never mind. All right, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the simple one that I did, this one right here. And remember I said in the last video, it was my first time, so you can see uh, it's, it looked more cloudy. And that's because, look at this, I did not spray this dry sheet good. So <clears throat> I, made a, I did another image. I used this stamp set right here, and I just stamped this coffee cup on my Misty. And so, what I'm going to do is um, just try to do some just for the video on today. Oh, and because I'm doing this on video, I'm using a plastic bag to catch all the glue. Uh, you preferably want to have a, like an open window or something because the scent is strong. Okay? All right. So, um, <clears throat> do I supposed to shake this? No. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is open up the bag. <clears throat> and because this, <clears throat> this is a small piece, I'm going to just do this in, especially since um, this is just for the video purposes. I just, you see, it ain't even, even anything. <clears throat> so, of course, you want the sheet to be you know, over what you're trying to cover with the dry sheet and the glitter. So I have my, move this hot glue gun out the way. 
<clears throat> so I have my bag here. And I pray this spray don't get everywhere. Can you guys see? Okay, yeah, y'all can see. Okay. And I'm going to spray this really well. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take it up with the spray side up and put it down on my image. Press it down. Every, <clears throat> every Ooh, this sheet is so sticky. I knew it was going to get everywhere. Just make sure that it's tacky all over. And then I'm going to take <clears throat> my glitter. Look, this is gonna have this video all day. Let me um there we go. Oh, that's pretty too. All right. <clears throat> Shake that on and then I'm gonna remove the excess. See that? And so you would just, of course, cut it out <clears throat> or do like in this one, cut it out like that. What I did with this one, the difference between these two, after I glued the dry sheet to the card stop, I then ran it through my dye cutting machine. And once I got on my big shot, I sprinkled the glitter. So glitter won't get all over my big shot. <clears throat> okay. So that's how I did the background. And like I said, this um, tutorial's all over on this, so that's why I was sort of surprised people wanted to see it, <clears throat> how to do 